get started. Hello everyone, Manix here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make DIY ballistic gel at home using nothing but water and gelatin. You'll also need a mold to pour it into, non-stick cooking spray, I'm using canola, a spoon for mixing, and a metal pot, because we'll need to heat the mixture. Let's start by weighing out the gelatin. The ratio I'm using for this 10% ballistic gel block is, as you may have guessed, one part gelatin to 10 parts water. The plastic mold I have, I got it from Amazon, fits about 18 cups of water. So we'll need 15 ounces of gelatin, just under a pound. You'll also want a heat-proof bowl. I apologize for not mentioning this earlier. Gradually pour the gelatin into the water while stirring. If you pour too quickly, the gelatin will clump and be much harder to dissolve. Once it's fully dissolved, cover the bowl with plastic wrap and place it in the fridge for at least 24 hours. After 24 hours, the gel should be firm and the texture should look something like this. Now we're ready to melt it down. Break it up as much as you can to speed up the melting process. Let's also prepare the mold by spraying it generously with non-stick cooking spray. Trust me, you'll thank me later when it's time to remove the finished gel block. Pour 1-2 to two inches of water into your metal pot. Set it on medium-high heat and bring it to a simmer. Place your heat-proof bowl of gelatin into the pot using the double boil method. This will prevent the gelatin from scorching. If possible, I recommend doing this step outside as you'll quickly discover that melting ballistic gelatin smells horrendous. Be careful while handling it as this stuff is extremely sticky too. Once the entire mixture is completely melted, remove it from the heat. Be careful not to overheat it as boiling for too long will weaken the gel. If you want the block to look as clear as possible, skim off any foam on the surface using a fine mesh sieve. Let the gel cool slightly, then gently pour it into your prepared mold. Cover the mold with plastic wrap and carefully place it back in the fridge for another 24 hours. If you followed all the steps correctly, congratulations! You now have homemade 10% FBI ballistic gel. It will last about 7 to 10 days in the fridge before use in the field. Keep in mind that the longer it sits outside of refrigerated temperatures, the weaker it will become, making it less effective for ballistic testing. That's it! If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Don't forget to subscribe for weekly firearm and knife videos. Thank you for watching. Manix out.